how do we manage our life? How do we manage our thinking? How do we manage our life? And there's a few simple principles. One principle that I would uh, tell you about is that we sow good seeds. We sow, when we sow good seeds, we can manage things. And this is what I just said about the Word of God. You, you, you force the Word of God inside of your mind. You force good seeds in your life. Seeds, when you're married, simply means that you speak kind words to your wife. That once in a while, uh, maybe once in two days, you, you notice something beautiful and you always do about your, your wife, especially someone you've been married with. But you, after a while, you become silent. You're like, I appreciate it in the heart. And it's the thought that matters. But it's not the thought that matters if it's not expressed. And you just express it to your wife. Say, you know what? I really think your nose is very beautiful. <laughs> and you have no idea how much love sparks just by that one simple compliment. You don't have to compliment for 20 hours like you did when you were dating. But just you sow a good seed. When it comes to finances, the way you maintain your finances is you sow a good seed. It means you make a decision that I don't need to compete with my neighbor. I don't need to get this because she got that. I don't need to wear this because he wears that. I don't need to compete with no one. I don't need to live like I am wealthy when I am not. When I get wealthy, I'll live like a wealthy. But right now, well, I'm a blessed man. So I'm going to live like a blessed man. But not super wealthy yet. You sow good seeds. The second principle is that you remove the weeds. In every relationship, in everything in life, there is weeds. And the weeds, they kill the seeds, Jesus said. And so when we remove the weeds, something will happen. We, have allow, we allow the seeds to begin to sprout and to begin to grow. In finances, the weeds are plastic, credit card debt. The weeds are impulsive purchases. It's on sale. I know I will need it five years from now. You have 20 billion... 25,000 things in your closet for tomorrow and you broke like a joke and so you you remove the seeds and you free yourself you go and you shop and you forget everything at home so you are not by impulse you're not buying anything and God will bless you remove the weeds out of your life when it comes to dating it's interesting that we do that intentionally when you date you compliment another person it's amazing how much fruit of the spirit you exemplify when you're dating how patient you are, how long suffering you are. When the person takes 30 minutes to get ready and this characteristic of patience is just sprouts. Self-control. You will never say a profanity, a bad word. When you're dating, what happens? Your phone is turned off. Your parents can't reach you for days after that. Why? Because you're removing the weeds. You are so focused on this person. And what happens is that when you get married, what happens is that when you begin to manage your finances we, we forget about that and we allow the weeds to grow and then there is no love and people go to the court and say well we fell out of love you know what you stop doing you stop removing stop planting the seeds and you stop removing the weeds you didn't fall out of love you just stopped working see and the man has to sow seeds and remove weeds for example when it comes about health you know that 50 up to 60 percent of people's sicknesses today will be cured those of us who are younger if we only sleep fast eat right and exercise and you don't have to pay for pills that cost 300 dollars a month and you don't have to do extraordinary things just simple sleep enough not three hours a day and thinking that you're a warrior or a marine because well you, you you deprive yourself of sleep eat healthy not at nine o'clock in the evening and then you miss breakfast and you don't eat eggs you need to eat eggs that's where you're gonna get protein especially organic eggs because when you sow good seeds called eating right sleeping exercising and you remove the bad weeds junk food and so many other things you immediately get a miracle called your health but when you get a miracle and you don't sow good seeds and you don't remove weeds you lose the miracle and it's not because of God but because of your negligence 